Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Andrew G and welcome to episode 17 of The Public Affair. You guys, I'm excited for this one and I'm very thankful that we're on this episode. Um, it's all thanks to everybody who views and listens to The Public Affair. Um, of course, to all the sponsors and to my producer, Mike Hamilton with Rogue Media Network. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, before we get started with this exciting episode, I want to give a shout out to a few of our sponsors that um, provided this episode for us. I want to give a shout out to Arjon Painting with my boy Juan Arjon. He's a local family owned uh, painting company that specializes in residential homes, interior and exterior, and offers the best quality guaranteed. So make sure you guys hit up Juan Arjon on the number on the screen so you know you can get your house looking all cute. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Midway Nutrition with my boy Marcos Codero. They're located on Hewitt Drive. Um, he, produ- he provides meal replacement shakes, um, super duper bomb. Uh, my favorite's the Honey Nut Cheerio. I also got um, a cheesecake flavor the other day that was really good. Uh, make sure you guys go check him out. He offers tons of different flavors. So if you're looking into get in- getting into a little bit more of a healthier lifestyle, definitely go check out Midway Nutrition. And also, big shout out to Waco Nutrition and Energy, which is their sister company, and they're located on Spate. I want to give a shout out to B&J Refinishing with my boy Frank Biza. He focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, and, and tiles to original showroom quality. Um, he offers five-year warranty on most work, and he offers the best prices in town. So make sure you hit up my boy Frank Biza at B&J Refinishing. And I also want to give a shout out to one of our new sponsors uh, with my boy Luis Flores. Um, he is with Red Rhino Flooring. They specialize in all types of floor installation, um, also building custom shower tiles and cabinets, uh, kitchen backsplashes, full home renovations, and more. So make sure you call Luis Flores with Red Rhino Flooring on the number on the screen. More to come later. All right. All right, guys, so I'm excited for this episode. Um, we've been trying to get this one um, for about a few weeks now, and we've had to reschedule several times. <laughs> and so I'm really excited to um, introduce episode 17 with my boy Dominic Gutierrez, George Wormy de Leon, and Isaac Carrillo with Soko Soccer Academy. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. 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 <laughs> How you guys doing? Y'all were all chatty Cathy right before this now. You guys want to be all quiet. What's oh, it's because we're intimidated by your good radio voice. Oh, yeah. did you like the way it all sounded? <laughs> Listen, right outside, everybody was all oh, like, I like five tones. No, who? Me. No, you didn't. You <laughs> said I would if I was. Nah, you guys are good. Nah, you know what? When I first started doing my spots like that, I would mess up a lot. You can ask my producer. We had to do like 10 takes the first time I got my first sponsor. It was terrible. There's oh. no way. I would <laughs> never. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming. Um, we've been trying to get you guys on for quite a while now. Um, Soko Soccer Academy is one of the sponsors for the public affairs, so I want to thank you guys for that. Um, and uh, how do you guys feel about being here? You guys excited or what? Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I want to introduce you guys to everybody, who's up to the people who might not know you. So let's start off with George De Leon. And a lot of people know you as Wormy. Um, why don't you give us a little bit about who you are and where you're from and all that? I'm George De Leon. I'm from Waco. Okay. Uh, Northside. Northside? No. <laughs> I lived there for five no. months. Oh. <laughs> I did, like on Trice. It was terrible. Oh, <laughs> nah. I did live on Trice. Watch episode six of The Public Affair. But anyway, George, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so my nickname is Wormy. Okay. I've been trying to drop that name for a while now. Why? It's more uh, of a family name. Okay. I got that name from my mom. Yeah. And I've been trying to get rid of it Yeah. for a while now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's more of a family name, and yeah. I'd rather not. That's how I was introduced to you as. Um, yeah. One of my good friends, Jay Carbajal, who's been begging me to get you guys on the pod, right? Because <laughs> that's all he's talked about for two months. <laughs> go, ahead and give Jay, go ahead and give Jay a shout his out. little shout out. A shout out to Jay Carbajal. <laughs> we all love him. I'm actually wearing one of his shirts. Um, I was going to wear my Soka Soccer Academy shirt, but anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. So yeah, um, he's at, well, you know what? When we started, um, he actually told me about you. In the beginning, um, because you do play pro soccer or mm-hmm. did or still do. We'll get into yeah. that in a second. And so um, then I met Dominic and then I met you guys together. It's like, oh, let's do this. And this was like a month ago. And that's so now we're here. <laughs> so, Dominic, why don't you why don't you talk to us a little bit about who you are? So Dominic Gutierrez. From OK. South Waco. South Side. Born and raised. Ooh, competition. From University High School. OK. So I have five kids and then married to Ariana Gutierrez. Love her. Yes. She's feisty. Well, she's our boss. Okay. <laughs> when I met her, I, I absolutely, she was great. I told her, me and you are going to be best friends. <laughs> yeah, no, she's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, again, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's what's up, man. And Isaac, so I just actually met Isaac three weeks ago. Yes. Uh, when I started working out at Soko Soccer Academy. And um, Isaac's really cool. 
Like, I'm like Isaac, tell us a little bit about who you are. I'm Isaac Carrillo. Carrillo. Uh, I was born in New Mexico, Las Cruces, uh-uh. but I grew up here in Waco, Texas. Okay. With same area, South Waco. That's right. I don't like North Waco. They fake, <laughs> they fake over there. Are they fake over there? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Yeah. But, I do uh, think South Waco looks cuter. I'm just going to say. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Only because I got my ass dragged up and down twice on North. That's not a little yeah. issue with that. But anyway, we're not talking about that here. Yes, um, That's episode bit, six. A little bit more about me. Uh, yeah. I'm married to London. Okay. Um, Dominic's sister. Oh, yeah. This is how we met. But um, yes, um, married to London, uh, London Gutierrez, but now she's London Carrillo. Carrillo. Yes. And we finally had our first baby. Oh, yeah. And it's a boy. His yeah. name's Liam Rocky oh, Carrillo. Wow. Okay. And shout out to my son. Yeah. Um, He's a yeah. cute kid. And, and shout out to London, too. I, I yeah, love her. Yeah. My, I love it, too. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Okay. So um, that's pretty cool to get to know you guys on, the, on that level. Um, every time I, again, when I see you guys, we're really just getting into working out and then going home. Because, yeah. um, but, you know, and I really want to talk a lot about that, too. As of the recording of this podcast, since I've been working out at Soko Soccer Academy, I'm down 17 pounds. Yeah. Since my way in yesterday. Three weeks. Was, uh, three then, weeks I know, bro. three, and that three was three weeks. weeks. Again, yes. so hopefully by the time the episode comes out, it had been more. Yes. But it's, it's definitely been a rough journey. Uh, that's been one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. <laughs> For real. Yeah. I'm even convincing myself to do so. But when I first got to meet you guys at Soko when we had our meeting, and I saw people, and no homo here, but I saw people like, where are me and all the guys that work out look really great. And I was like, I want to, I want to look like that. Do you know what I mean? I want to so, look like that. Yeah, right? like that. <laughs> no, they're also, they're also, t- and I love them all, but they're also toned and you know, just got lots of stamina and shit. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. And I, I you know, we'll get into more of that in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm down 17 pounds. I'm really happy. And thank you guys. Woo! I appreciate it. <laughs> I feel more confident to slide yeah, in the yeah. end. Yeah. With the workout gloves. Oh yeah, I wanna, and I, I'm wearing my workout gloves too because. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, because they're cool and they're Nike. And no, you know what I mean? It's yeah. because we're about to work out right after this. Well, I know, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. I don't know, not with my white glove. <laughs> so, anyway, no. so um, okay, um, so George, you were talking about how you wanted to drop the name Wormy. So during the yeah. duration of the interview, what would you prefer that I call you? George. George, okay. So why don't you talk to us a little about how life was growing up for you? I mean, what would you like to share? I mean, um, obviously you got into pro soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, surely it wasn't an easy journey. So um, a lot of the people that might watch the podcast might be going through a similar thing. So why don't you talk to us a little bit about your journey in that? I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, everything in life is tough. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want something, you got to put in the work. Oh, yeah. You got to put in the work. That's for sure. Um, well, my soccer journey was, I mean, it, it, like I said, it was tough. Right. There's, I mean, it's hard because you got to put in the work every day, every day nonstop. Yeah. And it's tougher because you put in the work, you feel like you're ready. Yeah. And then you go and be like, oh, I'm ready to play for this team. Yeah. And they tell you, oh, no. So it's facing a lot of rejection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Okay. And um, that's the hardest part is the rejection. Yeah. Because you put in the work, you feel like you're ready, you feel like you're good enough. Yeah. And then for someone to say, oh, no. Like that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's hard to come back from that. And. At the end of the day, you just got to keep going. Yeah, keep definitely. Going, going, and that's the kind of message that I want to uh-huh. send to the youth. The yeah. people that are Especially here in Waco, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah. Especially here in Waco. That's one of the reasons why I joined with Dominic. Because okay. That's what we want to do is try to push the youth to keep going. Right. No matter the obstacles they come across. And, and yeah, we've talked a lot about that on previous episodes about maybe a lot of the people maybe from those particular sides of town uh, might feel that they don't have the same opportunity as people that live in a different side of town. And so for somebody like you that grew up in North Waco, which again, I living there for five months, I can tell that maybe a lot of people live beneath their means, so mm-hmm. to speak. And so a lot of children or youth get discouraged and don't yeah. feel like that they're going to be able to make or do anything in life because maybe they feel like they're not afforded the same opportunity. Um, how do you feel about that as, as far as opportunities are given? Yeah, so, and that's one of the reasons why I kept trying to play and kept trying to grow and yeah. be at the top level so that these kids that come from the same city that I come in the same circumstances can see, oh, if he did it, I can do why it. Why can't I do it? Yeah, so. and I think that's an important lesson to learn for all the youth. But I mean. my favorite part about his is that, again, you're going to get rejected. Yeah. It oh, happens. that comes with everything. It happens. Yeah. I mean, no matter what you do, whether it's a job. Yeah, for sure. Anything. There's going to be times where you get rejected. You're yeah. not always going to be the best right. at that time. Now, 
did that stop him? No. Right. Now, what do you do? I mean, pro now. Kept going. <laughs> what, what is he? What, what, what is he again? A pro, a pro <laughs> dog. <laughs> and let's make that very. Let's make. Let's reiterate yeah. that that when you train with George. At Soka Soccer Academy, you're training with a prep. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that's correct, yeah. yeah. And that's the only way I'm trying to jump. I'm, I'm, I'm mediocre. Right? Because <laughs> yeah. that experience, pro level, he's the only one that could share that. Because, yeah. I mean, I don't know what it takes. I mean, yeah. pro yeah, level. So, is, and that's the same thing. Like, me, given these experiences, and now I was able to train with professional players, prof- right. get trained mm-hmm. by professional coaches, yeah. and be in that kind of environment, now I can see... What it takes to be there. Now, okay. With all that knowledge that I've gained, I can give back. Yep. Bet. Okay. You know I mean? So how many times would you say, if off the top of your head, did you have to face rejection? I mean, when there were there times you were like, "F this, I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm done with this." Yeah. Plenty of times. Plenty right. of times. More I, can you count on two hands, or is it more? I bet it's more. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I would have been like, oh, this. <laughs> forget yeah. all that. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. But everybody I'm would just, feel that way. Right. Yeah. It's I even mean, with working out. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to just. Oh, I mean, I can go back to Waco mm-hmm. where I'm the best. Definitely. Because, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, Waco has great talent here. Definitely. But, but a lot of people, as soon as they reach out uh-huh. and go and put themselves out there, and they and they get that rejection the first yeah. time, it's easy to just be done. Right. But no, I mean, that's the biggest reason why we brought him here. Good, yeah. And uh, you know, and I've I've watched you train um a lot of the youth like mm-hmm. during our training sessions at mm-hmm. in the evening yes, is I guess when they come in and do it. And, uh, you're really good with the kids. You know, I, I said like on <laughs> eight episodes that I really can't stand children. <laughs> so, I think it's really cool that you know that Soko gets to offer a professional really training, especially like cuz you guys yeah. offer soccer, it's mainly soccer training, correct? Yes. And so um you know, I think it's great that I would feel confident as a parent paying to have my child train under a pro, for that matter. Um, so I, th- I really think that's really awesome. Um, now, I'm pretty sure as a pro soccer player, you live under a lot of strict rules. Yeah. Um, so how are you able to maintain balance, like as far as your personal life and living under those strict rules? Uh, like I said, everything is tough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big battle, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. And the person I am, I mean, I, I like to have a good time. Yeah. Right? I like well, you're still to, young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, yeah. And I like to have a good time, but at the same time, you know, you want to play and perform at a top level, you have to be disciplined. Yeah. You have to know, all right, this is my limit. I can't go over this. Okay. Because, you know, it's not going to work. Yeah. yeah. And that's as far as, like, going out, like, on personal yeah, nights yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I feel you. I, and, again, um, I've seen you train, too. And it, it's very, like, monstrous. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. But, again, I, I think hard. it's a situation, and, like, with y'all's, company with soko soccer academy it's like proof that hard work pays off um from what i see per, even personally you know what i mean and then i see it's so great that you get to give back in that aspect and, and, and that's that's a that's a big difference there is the training okay like you said you see me train before it, yeah. it's a whole different training than what other kids say oh i'll go and train i go do this but yeah it's it's nowhere near it's, where it's I'm, not what i'm doing it's you know? and that's level. what i try to get to these kids <laughs> yeah. and these yeah. older kids growing up Trying to play at the next level. Hey, you got to step your training up right. this much more. Okay. Trying to make it, you know, because you can't just go out there and just go through the motions and say, oh, I trained. Yeah. You know what I mean? How's the reception been, I guess, for, have you, do you think you've impacted a lot of youth like you've wanted to so far? Or you think you're still working towards it? I think, I believe I have. Okay. And I mean, there's always, I feel like I can keep improving and keep. Right. Yeah. Right. And no matter, and I think the biggest lesson to learn in that situation is that no matter what your circumstances are growing up that you really can get out of it yeah. with hard work and dedication. And I think a lot of it is accountability as well. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Not blaming everybody for all the things you went through and stuff it's like, like that. It's like putting the blinders on. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Just go. Yeah, I feel you. And so how, you might have said this earlier, but how did you guys connect? Because you're, cons- you're a little bit younger <laughs> than us, right? No. <laughs> no pause. No. I heard two stories, so I don't two know. Two stories. Really. Yeah. So. Okay. How about instead of how you met, <laughs> so you don't get in trouble, <laughs> how did you How did you get involved with Soka Soccer Academy? Well, I mean, I've been, I've been knowing Dominic. Um, the first time Dominic got to really know me was in high school. <laughs> how old are you? That's funny. How old, how old are you? <laughs> a, huh? How old are you? 27. 20, why you got to pause? <laughs> Just, I'm 29. 27. Okay, got you. 29 and a half. 
No, I think I think I was a <laughs> freshman in high school. Okay. And Dominic was a senior, I believe. This is university. University. Okay. Yeah, university high school. Got you. I say university like that. Well, because I didn't want to get it wrong. Put some bass in your voice when you say university. <laughs> yes. yes. You don't. Yeah. Is that what it is? No, it's, it's university. Not. Yeah, but why you guys got to attack me? I'm a Midway Panther. That's right? why I say that. I'm just ferocious. That's why. That's why. <laughs> okay. Wormy, but before you let us know about how you got in, um, how you met Dominic, your side of the story, I really want to give a shout out to um, a few more of our sponsors of The Public Affair. This episode is also brought to you by Little Angels Waco with Jose and Rochelle Villa. They provide bounce houses, water slides, and jelly blasters for all your parties. Um, the gel blasters are cool. They're kind of like paintball guns, um, except they're all water-based, low impact, no mess, and unlimited ammo. So make sure you guys call Little Angels Waco for your next event, and they'll set the whole arena up for you and everything just how you like it. Um, thank you for sponsoring The Public Affair. You guys are great. I also want to give a shout out to Fat Boy Michelada and Botana and Serrano Scarnita with Junior Banda and Miguel Serrano. They work together to bring you the best Michelada, Botana, and Carne Seca. They're locally operated. You can call them for parties, get togethers, or if you just want a little something for yourself. And make sure you get the best, not the rest, darling. Thank you guys for sponsoring the public affair. And of course, I can't go on without giving a shout out to my girl Nancy Polsini with Texas Contractor Insurance. She specializes in providing insurance for businesses such as carpentry, landscaping, plumbing, handyman, and more. So make sure you hit up Nancy on the number of the screen for all your business insurance inquiries thank you so much for sponsoring darling more to come okay so you were just about to let us know how you met dominic in your version of the story say darling one more time D Dar <laughs> <laughs> that's darling with three Asians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and i sit my i sit my white claw with <laughs> did you like that i'm gonna start saying that in, in workouts don't do that no <laughs> i know i'll get my ass i'll make you do more burpees not burpees all right george why don't you let us know um, what you were about to tell us yeah so Dominic, well, my freshman year, mm -hmm. Dominic's senior year, that's when Dominic got to know who I was. Okay. <laughs> Is that the story? <laughs> that's it. But this is how, no, this that's is the story. Done. Get to the point. Just tell them. So, before and after soccer season, yes. we'd have like little tournaments, 7v7, full field tournaments, just okay. for fun. Yeah. And then the team that won gets a prize afterwards. But anyways, I played against Dominic. Uh -huh. I think it was in the final. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's, it's a true story. <laughs> All right, right, come on, come on, come yeah. on. So, I don't, know, I don't know if you know the term chip in no, soccer. No, I don't. All right. Well, it's not like a chip you eat. I'm no. starving. <laughs> okay. well, Why don't you explain something? Long story this? short, okay. I chipped Dominic from maybe... 18 yards out. Dang. Oh. And can you explain Dang. to me what a chip is? Hold up, hold up. My headphones went. No. Oh, I, I, I didn't hear what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said you got chipped, and he's going to explain to me what a chip is. Okay, first yes, off. When you just get under the ball, the ball goes over the keeper. Just oh. Yeah. That sounds hard. And Dominic never... I, for some it, reason, he doesn't like that. Well, it sounds like Dominic has a different version of events that took place. First off, then... That didn't happen. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so tell us. Tell so us this some, guy right here, the, the the guy that you see working out every day. Okay. Doing George. muscles. <laughs> just five, what, five nine. Right? Five, five ten. ten. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Was not the same guy that you saw freshman year. Yeah, oh, really? that's what I was about to say. Dude. What was he? This guy here was so, really wormy. So if you saw, <laughs> like, like if you saw no. a guy freshman no. year, okay. no, freshman dude, year guy, man, what? I think he maybe would have been what. Five three, five footy. <laughs> 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 that's what hey, that's what five gross three did you hear? Uh, that, that's <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, dude, in high so, school he was too much. So nipple, he, like so oh. down here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this kid. Could not even chip a ball. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right. right. The ball was bigger than him. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> dude. But he was that cold. Really? When his freshman year, so little. But that's how it, I knew him because in high school, I didn't know him at all. Right. At all. And right. then they was like, "Man, you heard about Wormy? You see how good he is in soccer?" And this, I'm like, I don't even really watch soccer. I was just a football player. I was like, "Man, I don't okay. like." But when I, I saw him, and they were like. That's Wormy right there. Yeah. And I was looking up, I was like, that guy's like, no, that guy. And I was like, that guy? <laughs> no, what the? Dude, I'm not trying to be serious. This guy right here. This, I'm not trying to be No, no, no. Yeah. Double the height. Double. 
No way. Yeah. I have to see a picture. Like no, sometime. you don't want to see it because you'll be like the glow up. <laughs> the glow up. Are you, well, it's not gonna come out on the camera. No, dude. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> cool though. So, bro. Show me. You know what? We'll post it. Um, we I mean, as promo. promo. Yeah, we'll post yes. it as a promo. Yes. Or, as a throwback. So, as a throwback photo. Throwback yeah. and after. Hey, yes. with the jean shorts that come down to like. <laughs> mid, mid them, them South Poles or what? <laughs> that was that. No, dunk. hey, 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 you know he's from North Waco. He had them tall tees and there. Uh, hey, that's what I used to wear. A lot of it when I lived in Long Island, that's what I used to wear too, because that was the style. Nice. I, did, and then yeah, I, yeah, I did. I used to wear tall tees. <laughs> so. But yeah, no, he was. The story did not happen. It didn't happen. He okay. came up with that like last night. <laughs> oh, no. Why don't you tell us about how, how did y'all really meet then? He didn't chip the ball over you. Did you punch him in the face? No. Okay. He wanted to. No. He wanted to. Okay. I was. But why you got to sound salty? Just tell your version it's of events. Because <laughs> Dominic in high school, sure. Dominic was. Like for real, hang uh, on. He was the shit in high really? school. This <laughs> mother, dude, this guy no. here will walk. Oh, man, dude, what? he was so popular. Every teacher anyway. even bowed oh, down so to him. He was a titty, is what you're no. saying, dude. No, he was so good and everything. Oh, okay. and, oh my god, it was crazy. He was like, I want to be like him. <laughs> Are you dude? serious? <laughs> yes, dude. In high right, school, he was. Up, yeah. yeah, he was what playing for the Texans. It was just, that was a different story. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. okay. Honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> okay, look, so moving on. <laughs> okay, so, so, so how'd you meet him? Why don't you tell us how you met yeah. Warren? No, he, so the first time I ever met him was, yeah, uh, was in high school. Right. His freshman year. Yeah. I chipped him. <laughs> <laughs> so he says you chipped him, but. Something okay. similar to what he said. Okay. Everybody was like, hey, have you seen this guy? I mean, he's really good. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, who, who is it? Like, oh, that guy over there. And I was like, okay. I mean, I was like, where? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it like that? Exactly. No, it was. It was then, like that, dude. Uh, okay, I believe you. His skill was way up there. Okay, uh, he I was mean, a beast. Ridiculous. Yeah. For someone that small, it was... And who would have thought he would have grew to be something looking like this? <laughs> yes. What the hell? Nice senior boy, year, right? No, senior year, he yeah. came up to my eyes now. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great. That's great. Okay. No, Look, okay, Dominic, uh, th and thank you for that enlightening story, George. We appreciate it a lot. And so, the, uh, basically, what we're going to leave with is that he chipped the ball over you, and that's that. And Man, um, everybody has their dang story. <laughs> You're going to tell your story right now. Um, I want to know, Dominic, um, what your inspiration for starting um, Soko Soccer Academy was. We talked a little bit about it in the beginning. Now you can get more into depth. All right. Our my biggest inspiration was there's always been talent here in Waco. Yeah. Always. It's just a little out of reach. I mean, as far as exposure. Right. Because most of the exposure comes from Dallas, comes from Austin, from the big cities. Right. And we're just a little bit too far away. Okay. Just in the middle. Yeah, we're dead smack between those two. Right. Yeah. And there's always, like I said, there's always been great talent here. Okay. It's just it's untapped. Right. I mean, the as far as like educating educating parents on the correct pathways to send their kids to college, to send their kids on to play in higher level I mean, select teams and that sort right. of stuff. So just 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 that the the education isn't there yet. Okay. So I wanted to start this SoCo Soccer Academy to provide an extra place for people to come and get supplemental training. Okay. Yeah. So 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 SoCo you feel like that wasn't being offered in Waco beforehand? It was not okay. being offered. So so we could say that SoCo Soccer Academy was the first to bring that. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Because yes, <laughs> a, a lot of people when they want to start an indoor soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, so okay. So bag bag. Okay. A lot of people want to start indoor soccer <clears throat> leagues. That sounds like you wanted to fight back back. <laughs> no, it's good. No, that, 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 that's okay. it. Yeah. I mean, everyone wants to start a league. Okay. Everyone wants to, oh, it's nice to have an indoor facility. Yeah. No. I want to actually provide something real. Okay. Something that actually gives our youth direction. Right. And there's, I want to provide a spot where they can, anytime they need a train, there's a training spot. Okay. There's coaches that provide quality training. Yeah. That'll help you work on any deficits in your game. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not just a place, oh, yeah, just come and hang out. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool spot. And every once in a while, we do. We do like to provide 
time for our community to come out and hang out and right. kick the ball around. Yes. Yeah. Because everyone loves. I mean, South Waco. A lot of people love soccer. Love soccer. Yes, they do. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, Waco. Period. Even Waco. Yeah. Waco. Period. Yeah. Even North Waco. Yeah, heck yeah, Waco <laughs> High's pretty man. Waco High's been are they okay? Yeah, I don't keep up with sports. Waco High's amazing, dude. Yeah, they've been been kicking. That's why the you said series. it like that? <laughs> anyway, okay. But so <laughs> that was our main purpose for starting SoCo Soccer. Gotcha. Was providing a spot where your kids can come and get quality training. Yeah. I mean, we're not trying to take anything away from any coaches that are that are here in training right now. Right. Because there are. Quality coaches here in Waco. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. But a lot of them are not that that's not their full time job. Okay. Right. To get to elite level though. That's what you're so where you're trying to no, get no, no. to, right? Quality coaches. We have a ton of quality coaches here, <clears throat> but like I said, they don't have all the time that other coaches in Dallas have where yeah. that's their mm. full time job to cater to everything your kid uh, needs. Okay. So you you you're saying that Soko Soccer Academy is um so is more Beneficial as far as providing time, and de- like they're d- more dedicated, I would say, because that's that's your full time gig. It's not even yeah. it's not even the dedication. Okay, those guys. I mean, think about it; they volunteer their time for free. Yeah. yeah. So we're not talking down on any coaches here out in Waco. Yeah. No, because they're already doing something awesome, right? Right. Now. So, what I wanted to do was kind of create a good rapport with those coaches. Yeah. So that oh hey. You have this player here that oh he needs help in this area of their game. Send him to us. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. What I get saying. it. Hey, I, I hey, see it too. Hey. <laughs> and not, you work there, and you're no, <laughs> it's because yeah. I'm not. I do the fitness no. part. Yeah, you do. he yeah. does the so, soccer, and that's uh, what I'm we're, trying to. We're, we're I don't luck- know neither. I'm learning we're too. We're lucky <laughs> enough. We're lucky enough to have all of that. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, dude. yeah, all of that in one location. Yeah. We have our indoor training facility, our outdoor field where we can train outside yeah and then we also have our fitness gym yeah so we are able to cater to all aspects of your game yeah that was my and that was always my goal always it's always been my dream to provide that type of facility for soccer players here in waco yeah so how do you how do you feel about the way it's going now so Due to COVID, <laughs> it's had its up and down. It's, it's had its ups and downs. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was rocky at first. Mm-hmm. I mean, shout out to my son Rocky. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no, that was that was, that was a good plug. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that anyway. was a good plug. <laughs> I love you, boy. <laughs> so yeah, it was rocky at first. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because we literally signed our lease two weeks before. Oh God. They shut down everything. Yeah. Who was oh, that? My God. Look at you. I told you I was going to call you out. Go ahead. Uh, so two weeks before they shut down everything. Yeah. So it was a rough start. Got gotcha. you. Think about it. I've been I've been planning saving for the longest. I mean, and starting a business is already hard. So you go jump in and then they shut you down for how, however long. What was it like a couple six, months six, where we right, couldn't offer weeks. any indoor training? Yeah. I mean, I was lucky enough to have a good support system to where I didn't have to go out of pocket and pay this person, this person to, oh, okay. to, to actually build my facility. Yeah. I have a great family. Yes. Great friends. Yeah. I mean, you can. That's these, good. Yeah. These are really you guys seem really tight. Everybody that's associated with that oh, company yeah. seems very, very tight. Definitely. What? what? Family's everything. Okay. <laughs> Especially for us. I like, was scared of what you My mother in law, my <laughs> mother in law, my father in law, and my mom. Yeah. Like, I just, I'm just saying, family in general for yeah. us is like very important. Cause, oh, okay. Yeah. My, man, the my parents. Yes. Spe- they weren't going to let your company but, fall. No, no, no. No, okay. No, and I'm lucky to have a Joe Gutierrez because that guy right there mm. can do. Joe Gutierrez is your dad? Yes. Oh, okay. That guy can do. I don't I don't understand how he does most of the stuff he does. <laughs> <laughs> like, a lot of that times he'll be like, oh, I was like, hey, can. Uh, so I'll, I'll sketch out, hey, can you do this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, is that even a question? That's dude, so great. And he dude, built that rig. Like, so every, oh, really? every yes. single, so wow. every single thing you see there, yeah. except for the flooring. What's your dad? No. The flooring is, um, what is it? Pro flooring? 
Every single yeah, thing. Yeah. That every, turf kicked every out. single thing you see in there. Uh huh. That guy did. Yes. You know what's great? Because yeah, that's great. Because my dad's where he belongs on the couch, fat, watching TV. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't do shit. <laughs> no, Joe is. Uh, my dad's name man, is Joe too. Though. I want to be like Joe, dude. I'm really? Like, I, don't know. I have to meet your dad. Good. Yeah. What's man, up? You don't be like. You gonna look at him like, man, how old are you, 30? All right, look, okay, so you also offer open play at Soka Soccer Academy, and when I first got to meet you all, um, I was came out on a night that was on open play. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really cool that, uh, I didn't see, I didn't meet you there. I, I met was, I you. saw you. You saw me? Yeah, I didn't uh, say nothing, because I, I was like, man, who's this guy over here? It's Andrew G. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, let me leave this guy alone. He, well, I came. I wasn't into. It. I was nice, right? I was like, man, he looked different. What do you, what do you mean? I, I, I was like, man, dude. What do you mean he looks different? Let's talk about it. Because he's standing right next to me, and I was like, was I standing next to you? Not standing next to me, but you were like across the table, and I was like, man, Ariana, you know this guy. He's a, <laughs> Wait, is, he about, so, is he about to play soccer or not? And then so I just, you know, I was just like, standing there. <laughs> Did you think I was creepy or something? No, I thought you were going to play soccer, but the whole no, time no. you didn't. So, because everybody <laughs> comes in there play soccer. Oh, okay. I'm the only guy that doesn't play soccer. He's only there to work out. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I didn't even play soccer. I'm like, Wormy, if you don't play, I don't play. But if Wormy yeah. plays on my team, let's go. So, since you're the only guy who goes in there and doesn't play soccer, there can't be two guys that are in there that doesn't play soccer. Perfect. So, there you, you felt intimidated by my presence. Yes. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> are you serious? Yes. I don't even remember seeing you. I saw you on his birthday, right? It was, the it was his yeah. birthday. Yes, yeah. it was Dominic's birthday. It was my birthday. 29 and a half birthday. Okay, so when I first met Dominic, so we could talk about sponsorship and getting you guys on the public affair, that's where I first met George. Um, I met you, and I met a bunch of other people as well. Like, I, I wish I can give her... Israel Sanchez, Jose Santana, Mauro Maldonado. Who else did I meet that night? Alexis. The guy, Alexis, not oh, the girl, yeah. Alexis. Um, I did not meet you. I met Ariana. Yeah. Uh, no, I met Ariana prior to that. Who else did I meet that night? That was it. Oh, can't forget Poppy. Ah, Luis? Go Martinez, right? <laughs> Luis Gomez. Oh, Luis, oh, Luis Gomez. Gomez. I met him. Damn, yeah, okay. Hey, I, and I met him. So those are the people I met um, there. And I, anyway, I got to Won't see the... Why don't you take him home? No, no, no. No, no, no. What's no, up? I don't get it. I'll tell it. As long as George don't get mad, I'm good. I'll tell the whole story. Y'all the ones who have a kind of... I'm good. I'm good. No, okay. So I had the opportunity to see you guys do open play there and um I, I what i liked about it is that there was a lot of youth and it really like it was a friday night and it really i feel like gave them something different to do rather than you know causing mischief and it, it seemed like a very family orientated environment would you say that's fair to say definitely yeah. listen listen that night was not to compare to the night before covid came oh, oh dude really? the opening day uh -huh. on friday oh my god it was packed because there was a lot of people amazing. in there no 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 yeah. it was it was yeah but the First day it opened, my even my big brother was there, and you know what I'm saying he don't we don't he don't like soccer. Okay. But he likes to watch it, but yeah. he, he went and he was just like, that was the best, like family oriented. Yeah, and this and this and that. He was it was amazing. Dude. Yeah, it was amazing. But, but uh, that night it wasn't even compared. But then COVID came, it was just like I my, ruined everything. my favorite thing about open play. Uh huh. Is so it kind of resembles like street ball with like street ball basketball. Yeah, yeah. So it showcases everyone's skill. Gotcha. It, gets, it allows you to get in front of a crowd, allows you to go and play, have fun, and just express yourself by playing soccer. So open play, what I envisioned from the beginning. Right. Okay? So open play originally started was we used to all go to Crestview. Right. Play soccer under the lights. And it's just you show up. You play, you win, you stay on, you you just go. Right. You show whatever you got. Bet. And it's straight street soccer. Oh, okay. You just go have fun. Definitely. That's uh, the whole reason we didn't start leagues from the jump. Okay. A lot of people were like, hey, when are you going to start this league? When you For what? For what, yeah. Like, our whole thing is skills training. Yeah. But Friday nights, showcase whatever skills you got because... Okay. You're in there. There's a crowd watching you. You're under a magnifying glass. Right. Yeah. That's what it really was yeah. like. I, and yeah, and you guys only, they only play for what, two minutes a piece? Five, five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah. It no. felt like two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> five five yeah. minutes. People are like, oh, five minutes is nothing. Yeah. But dude, five minutes in there is a lot. Yeah, for them, I bet in yeah, the heat of the moment. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. 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 I, I would no, die. So I can't even run I up to the, to the trash can and back. I don't want to play soccer whole, and I die. <laughs> that's the whole reason I loved the uh, whole open play part of our. Part of our business. Definitely. Was 
it allows you just to express yourself. Yeah. No, there's there's no pressure, nothing. It's not a league. It's not you're playing for points. You're just playing to show what you got. Got, got you. Have oh, fun. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And that's what that's what Wickham needs. That's why I'm on Wormy's team. Because every time yeah. he's on there, <laughs> Wormy, everybody I like, saw everybody, him play. He's a beast. Dude, yeah. Everybody, everybody's always on Wormy because he's a pro player. And, yeah. he, and he does this crazy matter about, oh, and I'm like, Yes. <laughs> and then he breaks our nets. Like yeah. I know. And I'm like, really? I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, when I when I saw yeah. him because before I went to open play, I I heard that you were the pro player. Yeah. And so I was just like, oh, I really kind of wanted to because I well, you were who I was um looking at to have on the podcast mm-hmm. before, you know, we did this. Yeah. And so I was really really kind of just focused on you and like how you were playing and it was really good. I mean, like I don't watch a lot of soccer, but um you know, you were you were pretty much all over the place as far as talent and everything. And you know, um, I didn't get to tap into it earlier, um, George. But can you talk to us a little bit about, um, I guess, the pro life and all that, and um, as far as, I guess, maintaining that and like how you can reach out to the youth and stuff like that. Oh, you know how you got there. Like, how you got there, yeah. Man. Like share and share what you want to, because maybe <laughs> so, if yeah, some yeah. of it's personal, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, I'm not too big on my personal life. I don't like to share too much yeah but, that's fine um like i said at the beginning i mean it, it, w- it was hard a lot of rejections yeah you know but but who do you train with like who did you, like like what's the what's the process like who you train with who because I, I don't i'm not a soccer player yeah I, like i said i i i don't know a lot about soccer. i'm just the one that you come in there and i'm like this is the work that you about to do you about to cry and you about to die and you about to, you know what it, I'm saying? It, just, it looked like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we'll get okay. into that okay we'll get into that but yeah. i'm saying like me personally <laughs> Like Dominic said, there's so much talent here. I see my brother-in-law, like, man, work his, man, fucking work his ass off. Yeah. Fucking work his ass off for everything. Right. And so him trying to get there, and he could have got there, and then I see Wormy doing his thing, and I see him get there, and I'm just like, okay, what was the process? What was... What did somebody, you do that was yeah, different? Yeah, what helped you what, yeah. get there? Like, what was Waco? Like, what people, made you stand what, out? Yeah, like, was there yeah. people from Waco that helped you out? Was it this and this and that? What made you get to where you at now? Bro? You should because, sit on this side of the table. No, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> okay. I want to know, too. You're good, you're good. Yeah, I like it. Who, yeah. I mean, determination uh, and all that, I get it. Yeah. We have that. But I'm saying, I want to know what was the sacrifice. Care to share? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, it was a big sacrifice, not just for me. Okay. For the main person that got me to where I am today, which is my mother. Uh, With her support. Yeah. Without it, I wouldn't be who I am mm. today. So you say she was your biggest driving factor? Yeah, like, for okay. sure. And I feel like that's that's the difference is I had the support of my mother. Yeah. Um, Do you think that that's as opposed to other people from your community, that maybe their parents don't support that? Yeah, and I, okay. I think that's one of the biggest things. Like, she was she was all in, you know, driving yeah. me to Dallas, just like Dominic does with his daughter. Yeah, it, it's mm-hmm. hard going to Dallas three, four, five times a week. All right, um, and she did that. Right, you know, and she was a single mother, so it was that much harder for oh, her. Oh, okay, so, damn. Like, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> that, that's like she. Uh, that's who I look up to. It's, okay. That's Who'd you why, train with, dude? Like, like I don't it's know not you... even about the training; it's about the support that yeah. I had. Yeah. And for her to invest all her time, her money. Yeah. And for me to just give up after a rejection, mm. like, I'd feel like I'd disrespect. Like that would be a slap in the face for yeah, her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she was. She's the main. She's. She's yeah. the main reason why I, I kept going. And it's crazy. Like I mean, because a lot of single moms. Are, are you an only child? No, I have. Three, two sisters. Two sisters. sisters yeah. Well, okay, so that's what I'm saying. A single parent of three yeah, children, yeah. it's got to be hard. Yeah, and yeah. so, you know, for for your mom to make that sack, well, let's give her a shout out. Give her a shout yeah, out. Yeah, bro. Big shout out to my mom. Yeah. What's, yeah. Her, what's her yeah. name? She's my, she's yeah. My, she's yeah. She's my biggest fan. Can, does she make dinner? Can she make us do? <laughs> no. No, let Tanya. Tanya Guterres. I've been wanting some barbecue. What's up? She doesn't like to cook. She doesn't like to cook? No. Well, her son's a Hollywood now. She don't got to cook. Yeah. With my steaks and shrimps. Yeah. Remember the sacrifices? Okay. Yes. Do you do you consider yourself that high ranked like, as far as like um, maybe being a little Hollywood or anything or yeah, I mean or you say you're pretty humble? No, yeah, I mean a lot of people think that I come off arrogant, this and that. But I never thought I mean, that. If you get to know me, you know that. <laughs> no, I never thought yeah. that. I, you know, like I know you're a busy guy. No, no, no. Yeah, I, yeah. If, if you sit down with me and get to know me, you'll see that that's not who I am. Oh, okay. No, not at all. Um, yeah. 
but yeah that was i feel like that's the difference is the support that i had okay and um i mean i feel like that was the biggest thing for me you right know? i mean because it is, it is hard and if you don't have support from anybody and if it's just you just trying to ground it out i mean it, it's tough it's tough yeah yeah, yeah. Well, and, and I think that's that's something good to pass on to maybe the, some of the kids that do do open play or anything or come to training. Maybe a lot of them do grow up in single parent homes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of them get discouraged. Like, well, my mom can't make those sacrifices and stuff yeah. like that. But th- that doesn't maybe just because she can't doesn't mean you still can't do it. Yeah. Correct. So that would be the message for you to pass on. Yeah. yeah and right. and the, I mean, there's several kids that say they want to do this and this they want to play at this level, but they don't even put in the work. So how do you? You know, you, there's always people that are willing to help. Right. You know? And if you put in the work and show these people, like, I'm all in, they, they may give you something, you know. Yeah. Whether it's, oh, I'll give you gas money. If you can't afford to go drive over here or here, right. we, we can help you out, you know. But okay. you ha- at the end of the day, you have to put in the work. Yeah. You have to show it. It's, it's you wanting it. Definitely. Yeah. 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 How's so life for you? Oh. Just, you like it? You like, you like that? You got a you like that? Yeah, you like you all that attention, fancy, yeah. right? No, because you, you, like, I see the Instagram, mm-hmm. and like, you know, like you're on the cameras and stuff like that. Like, how do you, do you think that that life is different than when you were not pro? Like, I mean, do you feel like you're more under the the radar now and stuff like that? No, I mean, I mean, I gotta watch the stuff that I do now, just okay. because now I have fans and right kids that that look up to you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and but at the end of the day. It's it's all for me. It's always been about the kids, so oh, okay. I always put the kids first, you know. And that's one of the main reasons why, I mean, I joined Dominic, right? Because it's about the youth. For me, like, I I like to put the kids. I I want to I want I want the kids to be to get. I want them to um, how do you say, to get a little taste of what soccer has given to me. Okay. So I like to give back to the youth. Right. And. Like it's for me, it's all about the youth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is all about so, the inspiring kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I like this anything, guy as a pro. Any, any, as, no, any yeah. like. Very I, don't, I don't care about money. I don't care about. I mean, I don't get millions of dollars. No. Like that, but, <laughs> but you I get mean, enough, darling. I, I mean, I don't. It, it's not about the money. It was never about the money. It's never about me myself. You know. Right. Because at the end of the day, it like like I said, it's it's all it's always about the youth for me. Right. And for me to be where I'm at, and for the kids to see that. I feel like I can. It, it inspires them to keep going, okay. no matter what obstacles they go. But through, to improve you know? their play too, right? Yeah, like, I mean, you know what like I'm saying? Said, now like, that I have the experience, now that I know, I what know it takes to be at the high level. Yeah, now I can yeah. teach that to these kids. Because man, I'm like a goal for somebody should be like I'm gonna train to be better, mm-hmm. and that's like anybody. I hope for everybody, but like if I want to be better at soccer, if I want to be better at something, I'm not just saying with them, but I'm going to put in the work. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh-huh. when I'm in there too, <laughs> man, those kids are having fun. Like when I'm about to use the, you know what I'm saying, use the restroom and I go inside and right. I look at the little kids, they're having fun. Everybody's moving. It's magical. Like yeah. it's magic. Like it's magic happening there because all those kids are on their knees, on like hands on their knees, huffing and puffing, and they're getting better. Yeah. And you could see the, the smile and Dominic's and I could see the smile and Dominic's and George's face and they're just like, man, you know what? Like I'm really I put impacting. some magic inside of them yeah. kids. Like I'm pushing them to be better. So, and I'm just like, man, that's yeah. awesome. So you said he's always posting this and that. And I mean, that's one of the main things that I like. A lot of people say, oh, when you post, you only post the highlights. No. Yeah. So they're like, oh, he only works out this time, this time. No, it's like every day. Yeah. A, a lot of people are like, oh, he only he only shows this every one. No. That oh, so people perceive like, oh, maybe he's only doing that like once yeah, a week. Like when you said that, it's really when every you day. say when you say, oh, yeah, you look like Hollywood. No, dude, when we work out, it's, it's working crazy. out. Like, right. mm-hmm. yeah, and whenever he posts something, I mean, it's real. Like, yeah. Yeah. We go. It's not just oh, we just go through the motions. We just show the highlights, dude. It's it's a lot of hard yeah, work behind. I, I, I really don't post much now, just cause I feel like I'm annoying people. No, I, I like, like it. That's the main thing. I think you should though. I think you should. I don't. Yeah. I don't post anything. No, oh, he yeah. doesn't. This, this dude. <laughs> so so I'll I'll I'm like I'll make a workout and then I'm, I hope he posts it like, yeah. the next day, but I don't post anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. That's why I'm glad he posts as much you. as he does because. 
Because it's, every, I mean, it's every single day. Yes, people yeah. are going to get annoyed. But, dude, that's what you got to do. Yeah. yeah. I feel you. And that's what, like, the images that he posts, and then, like, I walk in there, is the same, almost the same exact images that the kids are doing, like, Right on the next section because yeah. it's different sessions. You know what I'm saying? But you know what the cool part was? Was like I said, he's my brother-in-law, and I knew him since I was like what, seventeen? When did we tell them? No, wait, no, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 and there was two two goalies, and there was Arnold, Arnold, and um, what's his name? Alex. Alex, oh, my yeah. boy Alex. Yeah. Shout out and to Alex. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, yeah. dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> and I would see the goalie training that my brother-in-law would give them. Right. And dude, it was one of the most intense, crazy, like for real. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, what I heard one time, my 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 wife, my wife, my dear wife, she was like. You should have seen Cameron. And Cameron yeah. was a goalie, and that was uh, London's best friend. And she, and they were playing, or ECNL, top level. Yeah. Cameron, yeah. Cameron and so, awesome. yeah. And so, one day, Cameron was training with Dominic. And this is a, one of the stories they were telling me because, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get to know my brother. And my yeah. Man, I wanted to know his story, too. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, the training is awesome. Like, it's going to get you better. Man, she went like twice a month and then never came back <laughs> because it's so intense. Because yeah. the, the the hard work that they get, if you're gonna be D one, if you're gonna be D one, uh -huh. or you're gonna be a you know, professional level, it got to be one of the most like hardest, perfect. Like it was perfect. It was yeah. one of the craziest workers I ever Definitely. seen in my life, especially with Alex. When I saw Alex training with Dominic, he was diving like he was a pro. He oh, was wow. like up and down. I was, he was moving. I was like, what the, the heck? Hell, the monster. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And I was like, man. That's so true. that's. But he never posted that because there wasn't social media. Right. But then when I see Worms workouts and stuff like that, because I'm just like, dang, that looks just like Dominic's right. workouts. I'm like, man, that's crazy. I, I, that's, I'm not trying to say professionally. Right. Like, and I feel you. And, and I, nobody, I've, but I'm just like, what yeah. I see. So. I've seen George's yeah. workouts. No, dude. He, he makes them look easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, dude. yeah, but that, but again, but that, but a lot of people don't see the the dedication that went. He'd be wearing that. bands, extra bands, just to make me look slower. And I'm like, what the? <laughs> <fuck?"> <laughs> I got you. Listen, I really do want to get into the uh, the personal training or the physical training part of Soko Soccer Academy. So again, as of today, I've been there for three weeks, and I've been going Monday through Friday. Right, this last week I did two days, like four out of five days. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Down seventeen pounds. Woo! Right. What's up? What's up? Right. Yeah. Hey. Throw that snorlax away. Oh, yeah. Snor yeah. yeah. Inspiration. Okay. Get him out of here. What are you talking about? He's gonna come to Soko Soccer Academy, no. and I wanted him here because he's fat, and so he needs to lose weight. Wait on. And plus, I, I spent like eighty dollars on it. So here, I put him away. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Look. So, um, okay. So I've been there for three weeks as of the recording of this episode. Yeah. Um, so um, it's hard. It is very difficult, um, especially if it's not something you're used to. So when I started at SoCo, um, I did my first training with you, Dominic, and then I think I trained more with um, Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I usually make it to the six thirty, and you guys yes. offer really convenient times as far as the physical training. So there's no excuses. And I think the the main thing that I really want to like stress here is this: I lost seventeen pounds. Yeah. Like getting my ass up at four in the morning. Yeah. How many Go. weeks again? How many? Three. Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks. But uh, so, but when this episode airs, it'll have been a month, five weeks or so. Um, I got my ass up every morning yeah. at four in the morning. Keep going. Did the the um the training, which is they're about an hour long. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. sore as hell. Sore as hell my first week. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was taking baths and Epsom salt. <laughs> right? I, was, I couldn't walk up the stairs in my apartment. I have stairs, right? Yeah, so, so that's the, the main thing. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Because I, I have to say, I just got to say this. Um, I went to training with you at yeah. 630 at night after work. And, you know, okay. Yeah. I didn't put a patch on my arm. I didn't drink a special tea. I didn't... Um, what else? Put a waistband or whatever the hell those wraps are. Yeah. Um, there was no secret. no secret. It was dedication. Yeah. It was fighting through it, and I'm happy. And 
I think I've heard a lot of people say that working out that hard, that's really what you're supposed to do as far yeah. as losing weight. You know, all this other shit about, you know, oh, put apple cider in your water and just sit there and drink it. You'll be all right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, so that's, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's a training. It's, yeah. it's not, oh, you just go here and do go through the motions and say that you train. Yeah. No, no but it's, 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 it's this kind of training right. that we do here that separates you. We provide okay. a certain kind <laughs> of community. No, but you do. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, when I started, because I, a lot of the guys, when I met them, that night were like, come work out at Soka. And I was intimidated. Yeah. You look at people like George and you look at people like you guys and y'all, I mean, and I got titties to my knees and it's like, <laughs> and it's like I, can't, I can't work out with these guys. You know what I mean? No way, because they're, they're more advanced. I'm gonna slow them down, but, but I didn't feel intimidated. Yeah. And I have to, no really, and I have to thank you guys for that because you guys were very patient. And you know, as far as modifying, I think you might've modified it just a little bit, not to where it was easier. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Like, it I was mean, still modified. just as hard. It's modified yeah. to... So, we cater to everyone. everyone. Okay. okay. So, you could... No matter what level you're at, mm -hmm. join. It's not... So, a lot of people are intimidated at the, at the beginning. Right. A lot of people think, oh, you're going to jump in. You're going to have to do, oh, this crazy weight, this crazy this. No. No. No, we cater to every single athlete that comes through that door. And, and you do, but even it, if, you're, but that's what I'm saying, even if you're not an athlete. Because yeah. let, let me tell y'all something. I was not an athlete. <laughs> I was not training. I was not you doing any. You are an athlete. Yeah. No. Listen. Okay. When first Andrew G did his back squats, I was like, <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, we're a I don't even know here. what to do back squats. It's time to test if we're oh, real dude. coaches or not. <laughs> Listen, yeah, dude. When Andrew G first started with me, when I saw him do a back squat, God, one knee was all the way to the right, and one <laughs> knee was all the way in the middle, yeah. and like his hips would go to the stars. It was crazy, dude. It was the craziest back squat I ever seen. But you know, we take time and yeah. we give him direction, and we show him the proper way and the proper movement, yeah. and then we adjust the workout to his benefit to push him. Not yeah. to benefit us or anything. It's a ways, there's different ways, guys. Yeah. Like experience is key. Like me and Dominic been working out for a long time. We've been experienced. I mean, P90X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, P90X yeah. due to freaking no. um or what up. underground to yeah. us at the high school, CrossFit. We did everything. Yeah. Bodybuilding, we did Getting everything right. and shout out everything. and yeah and shout out to coco because that guy is crazy he was the <laughs> one that was me and coco was a, no but uh we put it to where people can do it yeah and push themselves and be like you know what i'm gonna go to the next i'm gonna do a real push-up because when andrew g first started he could not do a damn push-up he was yeah. on his Stomach and just pushing up and down. Now he's doing military push-ups. Seriously, <laughs> barely, barely. Yeah, barely, barely, but still he's going yeah. But but that's what but that's what I'm saying. A lot of people. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, go ahead. and one yeah. thing too, though. Okay. As George, I told George, I'm like, man, dude, you 10 percent body fat, dude. <laughs> dude, <laughs> yeah, he's 10, you don't got man. nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he's like, he's he's like, he's worked his ass off, yeah. and then even when he works out with Dominic, you know what I'm saying? Dominic pushes him. Right. To get better, and then one day, Wormy posted a picture, and he's like, "What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Ten percent body fat." I was like, "No, damn, let, I need to but, get there." But, but, me, but let, it's crazy. It's, but let me say this too, though, because there's so many people that that say, "Oh, I just in my mind when I'm doing those workouts, and I don't like to bitch a lot." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't like to be like, I'm just, I can't do that. I'm not going to do it. I can't run there. I'm not going to do it. But in my mind, I can't wait for this shit to be over. <laughs> do you know what I mean? In my mind, in my head, seriously, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? These people are trying to kill me. Yeah. But when the workout is done, I feel accomplished. And because I did it. And um, a, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people really want the easy way out. So when we talk about these extra things that people, you know, say, oh, you can lose 50 pounds doing this and eating this or drinking this. That's not what it is. Look. Go go work your ass out so at Soko Soccer Academy. So working out, yeah. I got experience with working out. Okay? Yeah. With soccer, I don't. <laughs> tell them how we, <laughs> dude. Tell them the first workout ever made you do. Shut made the fuck you do no, wait, wait. I, just okay, wanna say, I wanna say something funny. I wanna say something funny real quick. When I was working out with you for the first the first couple times, and um, you know, of course you said all my postures and everything were all over the place. And he, the one one of the things that always stuck to me was like, 
dang, you're not flexible at all, are you? Yeah. And, and, and I'm thinking in my mind, I'm, I thought I was. No, <laughs> no, no, you, know, no. you know what I mean? You ain't flexible <laughs> shit. Yeah. I did. I thought I, I was. Because, you know, when, you, up, man. What, 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 when other things are happening, like at my house, I thought I was flexible. No, <laughs> dude. No. And, then, and then we work out, no. and he's like, you're not flexible, no. are you? And I was like, I mean. I thought I was bad, but you're worse. No, dude. but I think, I think in three weeks, I feel like I have come a long way. I mean, it's still difficult. No, dude. But, because this is what I say is getting better. In three weeks, yeah. you're doing a proper movement that I'm telling you to do. Yeah. Bench, perfect. Squat, better. Deadlift, mm -hmm. amazing. It's just different. Like, yeah. you do look like a different athlete. In three weeks. Three weeks. In three weeks. Uh, every okay. time I and saw you lost how much weight? 17 pounds. Okay, okay, yeah. check it out. My experience and my background, guys, is my goal is to give the people what they want. Shout out to my cousin, Belen. She came to me and asked me, hey, man, I enter this competition. I need to lose as much weight as yeah. I can. She's 5'2", 220. Wow. She got down to 180 Oof. in one month. Wow. And I was like, Look, listen, you have to do what I tell you to do. <laughs> Eating, working out. Yeah. Now she's at 140. 140? Okay. Yeah, and she's 5'2". Wow. Yeah. Good for her. So... That's one person. That's my first accomplishment. I was like, man, hell yeah, I love this. No one's yeah, yeah. Fitness is my, I love instruction yeah. and this and that because first it was and just- You're very good at it too. I just love working out. Yeah, you know very, I just love it. I, but, but what I like about you guys too is that, you, I mean, even the people that do work out there too, not just you guys as the trainers, but everybody there is very motivational to each other. Oh, yeah. So the intimidation factor went right out the building. Like and that's, that's kind of an environment that we try to create. And, yeah. and Well, you guys do a good job at it because let me tell you something. Everybody that I've worked, every person that I've worked out with there has motivated me yes. and well like some people have even texted me afterwards and said man like you did good today keep it up and this and that that's awesome yeah, it, it is shout out tomorrow and so yeah, not, yeah. not that's the our, word tomorrow his name is tomorrow yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is always tomorrow, tomorrow motivates me um i think i've shared that with israel sanchez what's his name say his name tomorrow what? Maro maldonado yeah yeah, his name is not tomorrow, it's Mark. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but like, like a lot of them, um, I worked out the other day with Eric and he was pushing me and him and I had been quiet too. I mean, we just never, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So just everybody, my Jay too, has messaged me and called me afterwards and said, you did really good today, even though he'd be making fun of me during the workout. <laughs> yeah. you know, but we, I've known him for a long time, so it's cool. And so everybody that has worked out there, literally every person yeah. that I've worked out there and that one girl, um, Lexi, Woo. who, yeah, who, yeah, um, she, and I like her because she like, we first raise her hand, be like, yeah, Andrew could be on my team. You know what I mean? I'm like, what's up, dude? You know what I mean? Like, she go, dude. Yeah, she's a beast. She's like the she is a strongest. beast. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. That's the biggest thing. She yeah. motivates every single person she, does. she works out with. Yeah, yeah, she does. She encourages them to actually push themselves to another yeah. level. But, that, but that's the main thing that I really want to reiterate to the audience is that if you do feel like it's intimidating to work out with these types of people, it, I mean, I felt the same way. And not one person that I work out with didn't motive. They all motivated me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Every single one of them were probably. And Lexi can be motivating the guys because she'd be left <laughs> with them. <laughs> she lives, now, is yeah. it true? Did I hear that she lifts more than the guys? Yeah. She does, right? Okay, yeah. Because I've seen her. She's a... And I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> who's the other kid that comes at the um, in the evening classes? Um, when I, I didn't know he was 13. He's like a little... Sh he's not a shrimp. He's a freaking monster. He's, um, he's um, 19. But he looks 13. No, he's not 19. He's 19. What's the what's his name? Um, Boris. Not Boris. Shout out to Boris though. I'm not talking about uh, Boris. Santos. Uh, Santos. Yeah. <laughs> Santos. Oh, Santos. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that kid. That kid. Is... Shout out Santos. He's not gonna come and work out for like the next yeah. week. Well, Santos better not even watch this weeks. podcast because oh, Santos is 13. <laughs> so, Santos. So, oh, yeah. But if his dad is watching, if his dad is watching, Santos yeah, is like I'm, really oh, but disciplined and workout. Because so. it's supposed to be PG. Yeah. Oh, uh, blackout the, oh. the, the. It's too late. Oh, We're 50 <laughs> minutes into the episode. <laughs> no, nah, the, uh, but but shout out to um, Santos because he comes a lot to the evening classes too. And there's been a lot of times where it was just him and I. And um, like when we were working out together, uh, yeah, well, I was trying not to compete with him, but he, I guess he grows up in a very competitive, like, yeah. yeah. And what does that do to you, though? Like, but no, but, were, like, if this kid is doing all that, I should be the same way too, because I've yeah. got over ten years on him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell so, yeah. hell yeah, yeah. So, so hey, big. So you beat him then? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, Santos, no way. He beat you the first three times. <laughs> And then what? Yeah, it's been three weeks. I don't know. I don't really look at it like that. But no. But then you, you mentioned. I'm just trying to say like okay. that. Okay. No, I got you. I'm yeah. watching. I'm coaching. I'm the yeah. one. Yeah. But no. But I'm saying the kid is very disciplined too. So even for the personal training aspect, not just for the adults, but send your your kids too. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Because you yeah. and you guys are very good about pushing the kids as equally as you are with the adults. Yeah, and I do want to give a shout out to Boris too that you mentioned his name because he's also a very big motivator uh, for me as well. <laughs> and he's he's about this tall, and I don't know, he's a fucking beast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's for everyone. <laughs> yeah, so, it, it really is. It's what what I like. What I like about what we do uh-huh. is a pro athlete could be working out with my mother in law. Yeah, and then they're still gonna get the same type of workout. Right. I mean, that's the fa- that's my favorite thing about what we do. Okay, it's, it's not specific to any type of person. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's, we're just here to get you right. fit. And and I have to and I have to reiterate this one more time. It is not easy by any means necessary, um, especially if you're not used to it. The first week was my hardest week. I think I remember asking you, when is my soreness going to go away? Like, but yeah, now? now I don't feel nothing. Yeah. I don't get sore after workouts now. Yeah. Uh, do I hurt a little bit? Nah. You know what I mean? But yo, walking up the stairs to my apartment, walking up the stairs to do Power 108, I was like, I thought I was going to tremble. Um, I, but I, and I, you know what? I sleep better now at night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, I guess it wears my body out and everything. And it's just... To me, it's been such a positive experience, and I'm happy that I have stuck with it. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what the next month will bring as yeah. far as losing weight. I think if I stay disciplined. We just don't bring also just to lose weight, guys. Mm-hmm. We don't. Because there's some athletes there that are just looking to get stronger or even look good at the same weight that they are. Right. And they have been. They've been getting stronger in the same weight. Right. Because it's, uh, it's just not... Oh, I'm gonna go there and I'm just gonna just work out. No, it's we program our stuff to make you stronger, lose weight yeah. or inches, and get you in shape. Right. Where your heart is at. Your heart is the key thing. If your heart is not working properly, you're gonna die the first week. Like the <laughs> Andrew G did every he Man. threw up. Like five times. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Not, I, 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 because no. he wasn't. And the consistency, the yeah. consistency. It's the, it's hard. Man, dude, yeah. the consistency it's, is everything with anything. With right. working out, I don't know about soccer, but I mean, if consistency is important in soccer, yeah. Like I don't know, is it warm me? Like is consistency a key thing in soccer too, that, or is it just I one? Feel like that's the main key. Like it's being consistent. Consistent. Yeah. Like, for for example, if you're a, if you you were a good player uh-huh. and you can't be consistent, then you're not a good player. Right. right? Mm. A coach rather have a player that can play, like on a scale of one through seven, a seven, the whole season than to play at a ten and then four six. They would rather have you play at a seven. Okay. Consistently. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. And that's what makes you a pro player. Not right. how good you are, but how consistent you can be. Right. Being good. Okay. You know? That that makes that's yeah. that makes a lot of sense. And that and goes that with us. Comes that with yes. Training. You know, if yeah. you're not training consistently, and then you're not training properly, then right. you're not gonna perform consistently. And if you can't perform consistently, then you're not. Yeah, for sure. You cannot play at that. level. Definitely, I feel you. Do you think training Andrew G has gotten easier in three weeks? What do you mean? Yes. Because in the, be- the, in the beginning, the like y'all said, day, y'all were like. The first day, I was like, what the fuck? We're going we're gonna to work. <laughs> oh, I'm going to work well, it's, it's, Did it's, I see it's, you the next day? Yeah, I, I think I saw him the next day, right? Because I went to you the first morning. Yeah. It was like a Monday, and I went to you on a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, it's time to really test what we know as coaches. Yeah, oh, so yeah. I was kind of like the guinea pig. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and, then, and then now I'm used to that. Yeah, like, no, I don't know about like, Dominic, but I know Dominic by experience. Like he's used to it too. Like yeah. we have so many people that came to us. Oh, well, to me personally, yeah. like, I don't know. Right, right. I don't know about experiences, but for me, even like this one of my good friends from work, his name is uh, Juan, uh, John Baltazar. Well, we call him John B. Yeah. We call him John B, but his name is Juan Baltazar. John B, like the singer. I don't know. There's but a singer his name, named John B. Well, okay. his, name, his name is John B. Uh, okay, really? okay. And like when I first started working there, he was like at 210. Okay. I helped him out. I mean, not, I helped him out. Yeah. I'm not trying to be ugly or anything, no, but no, no. I helped my boy out. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he lost, uh, we got him down to 190. Dang. Yeah. yeah. And I told him, look, bro, I'm here. My, it's my reputation, dude. It's my reputation. Yeah. And we got to be consistent. You got to listen to what I say and you got to do it. If you don't, 
we're not gonna see no results. Yeah. Every single week, he was like, Isaac, I'm at 210. Isaac, I'm at 200. Isaac, mm-hmm. I'm lifting this much weight. Isaac, yeah. this is how much I weigh. This is how much I lift. This <sighs> and see, hearing those things, I was like, man, hell yeah, that's you're my mom. Yeah. Yes, you're doing something right. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're, if you're not gonna be consistent or not gonna listen to me, and I'm like, okay, cool, dude. And I'm yeah. saying, I get it. Just come and work out. Just lose some, burn some calories. You know what I'm saying? But if you really but want to do it, it's a team effort. Yes, and and that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, just like you guys will push me to work out and you know wear my ass out. Yeah, I still when I get home. I have to doing? discipline myself. What do well. I ask you every time? You ask me what I'm having for dinner. And what I do, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then good, I say, is this good. okay? Is this okay? Is and this then okay? Yeah. When you eat bad, what do I say? Get on to me. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, me. Isaac, I'm sorry I yeah. ate bad. I'm like, what no, but the you fuck? know what? You I, ruined our, you I, ruined ruined say, our... I think the worst thing like I ate was yesterday, and it was like a BLT. Yeah. And, that was yeah. It. and so like and, I just <laughs> But like two little bitty pigs, shut up. All right. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the worst thing I've eaten in three weeks. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So But that's the thing, the team effort, and I'm here yeah. for you. And, and there's been per- people, a lot but, of people that I helped out yes. lose weight and this and that. But and, and that's what I'm saying. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm encouraging everybody. I'm encouraging everybody to really give it a shot. Because again, y'all, everybody who knows Andrew G from the Public Affair and from Power 108 knows that Andrew G was not about working out. I didn't work <laughs> out. I, I was a big gamer, I still am. And you know, stuff like that. And when I started this lifestyle, I became addicted. I like look forward to working out now. I hate the yeah. weekends now because we don't do it. But, you know, on Saturdays and Sundays. But like, um, and rest. again, a lot of it, a lot of it is hard. Running is effing hard. Um, lifting th- those kettlebells. I hate those damn kettlebells. That's hard. What's that thing that we did where you have to pull the thing and the with your rower. legs? That shit's hard too. And everything is difficult. What but about the bike? The oh my jeez. If I reiterate anything to the audience tonight, and I don't, I don't care. Throw away the patch. Throw away the pill. Throw away whatever tea you bought. The waistband. The, the waist, whatever thing that, sty- um, not styrofoam, what do you call it? Um, that surround wrap that you put around your body. Throw all that shit away. Yeah. If you guys want to see results, <laughs> you have got to go work. You have got to really be dedicated. You have got to go work out. I've seen more results. Yeah. And and this, like, because I used to try not those particular things, but, you know, like, okay, maybe if I put apple cider in my water or if this, whatever. No, nah, dude. I have seen the most results in working my ass off at Soka Soccer Academy. Yep. That's say, it. Say darling. Say darling. darling. <laughs> 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 hey, check it out. There's some gems uh-huh. that you pay, like, $150, and you get no results. Right. You still look the same. Right. You still still come and I, and I go in there and I'm just like what the hell you still look the same you're paying $150 we should be you should be like better than me yeah for sure way better and I'm yeah. paying $150 hell no yeah I know hey it's cheaper uh huh we're like we're dedicated to our right athletes and we're gonna say athletes because you are an athlete you we're, we we you know, we want y'all to become athletes we want yeah. you to be different we don't want you to just be I'm a person. No, you're an athlete, dude. And I don't and, care what age yeah, you are. Yeah, and you know, I'm so happy that you brought that up, too, because let me tell you what my trainers told me last night. That it's time for me to cut off all the lame side pieces and get new ones. <laughs> they said, you, you lost weight, you're on the public affair now, and you look better. It's the st- get it's rid of all of them. The That's yeah, trying to step dude. Everybody, you're done. Stop you're done. Stop. You are done. You heard it first on the public affair. Yeah, Every even talked time about for new a ones. certain power couple. Go ahead and say it. No, I want you. No, you can say it. He'll love it. He'll love it. No, 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 no. I'm putting you on the spot. He'll love it. Go ahead and say it. I don't know about this. We won't go there. No, say it. I, please say it for me. Who? I'm looking for the public affair. Who? Tell them. What happened? Okay, so last night I was talking to Dominic. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. no. I, it's really, it's all fun. It really is. Like, he, he won't get mad. It's cool. I was talking to Dominic yesterday about this, and he was really encouraging me to, to, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Give it a second. Right. <laughs> now we're getting into the affair part. <laughs> I, I was talking to Dominic about, you know, like, you know, whatever. And so I was like, yeah, we I'm cutting. talking about what your relationship Okay, so he, like Dominic was asking me about my relationships, and I was telling him I don't have a relationship as of yet. I do not. I, I do have like a couple friends, whatever, <laughs> and they've been playing. So I'm, they're getting cut off. Everybody's getting cut off now. And he was like, you should, because now you work out at Soko Soccer Academy. Yeah, You've yeah. lost all this weight. You're about to lose more weight because we're going to make sure you do. And you're on the public affair. I was like, all right, bet. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Who did you say I should hook up with? No, nah, no. I don't want to use the word hook up, but date. No, we got to <laughs> yeah. go to the top of the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roman Novi. <laughs> 
So Dominic, came, okay, so everybody knows that I had Roman the realtor on episode two of the oh, public affair. That, that Me guy. and Roman have been very good friends for a long time. I really love, I love Roman. He's a great guy. Very um, um, hardworking, for sure. Yeah. Roman, you're my boy. <laughs> Dating, yes. it's, and you can't just put hey, us together listen. because we're top. But first He's of all, Roman's up here. Roman's right way up here, yeah. So, Bro, I, I think yeah. that'd be a perfect power couple right now. Right? <laughs> dude, <laughs> we're going to get you there, dude. I don't care. That's our goal now, dude. That's our goal. We're going to make it We're gonna make it up. Like, man, we're about to get thank there. thank you for being a part of episode two of The Public Affair. Yes, you really Roman. came through. Me and Roman are very good friends. I kind of know I like Roman. Roman I'll be saying Roman. He's cool. He's yeah, cool. Roman's real yeah. good. He's a good guy, man. I love Roman, yeah. But for whatever reason, Dominic's obsessed with hooking us outside. Hey, there <laughs> I, I want to hook y'all up now too. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, let's get this guy who's the guy with six why, pair. Why Roman's gonna be Roman, like dancing Roman, all over you. But why Roman Novi head? That's because Roman. Because Roman's, Roman's rich. a good looking guy. He's very good looking. You are too. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but, but that's why, man. Thank you, darling. Even with me, dude, I was. Oh hell no, you got. Uh, wait, are we gonna say that? Don't get in trouble no, on the public no. affair now. <laughs> no, man. Okay, we'll cut that. Roman, shout out to Roman. Though, Roman, man. good. Yeah. So, Roman. But that's what he said last night, and I was really trying to convince them like, that would never <laughs> work. Well, I mean, he's a really cool guy. Yeah, he's uh, awesome. But I don't know that I would ever work. I don't know. I just never thought about that. I really? Just, I haven't. I just I haven't. I don't know. But you, know, you know, like, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> we'll no, see. I mean, he might be dating somebody. So if you are dating somebody, no disrespect to that person. Yes, but yes, I just yes, thought it was funny yes, that you guys yes. brought that up. And... Um, we were just talking about couples. Just saying, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you think me and Roman would be a good power couple? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm happy that you guys hold me on this high pedestal. I mean, I've always done that for myself, but you know, just. <laughs> that's so cool soccer so cool fit we hit we <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, you guys should have like an app right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good grinder so good no okay no no okay yo but okay so my goal weight to get down to is 240 pounds and you I want me, you want me you want me to get to 210 yeah All I right. want him to get lower than that I want yeah. to get on at least like 190 so what's your goal by the end of the right. year what's your goal 190 by the end of the year? Oh. Um, okay, calculating, because ca I'm so happy you asked that. I calculated. If in three weeks I lost 17 pounds, in a month I should have lost at least 20, right? Okay. Okay, so we're in October, November, December, 40 pounds. Okay. Under 240. But... Yes. And also, and like you putting us up to that challenge, so we're going to be on YouTube saying, what are you eating? What are you doing? Because but that's, a very, that's yeah. a very... Eating is it's a vital. very, yes. It's vital. Me and Eric talked about that. Shout out to Eric. Because there's different, yes. man, listen, and a diet is not healthy, guys. Remember that. Diet, any diet you get onto this is not healthy. Once a week. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this yeah. Yeah. This wait, is still my wait, only one. Wait, right? well, once a week. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying diet is key, dude. Mm -hmm. If you're not in a caloric deficit, you're not going to lose weight. Yeah. If you're going to keep eating what you want, then okay, fine. You're yeah. going to get stronger. Mm -hmm. You're going to get stronger and you're going to get more flexible, whatever. Right. But, more flexible. <laughs> You want to be more yeah. flexible? Well, I did, Roman, well, shout out flexibility. <laughs> 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 yeah. Roman, I was like, look, Roman, I love you. <laughs> You're a shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, but I never tell you want to go there. I thought I was flexible when I oh, when I dude, do shit at no. night. My these legs go places, no, all right? Dude. I said you better shut up. Yeah, you wanted yeah, to go there, we yeah, took yeah, it there. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> yeah, proof. I thought, I'm not releasing my video. <laughs> Those are on my we laptop. We have for me. proof. <laughs> <laughs> we have proof that you are not. not flexible. Okay, well, but that's what I'm saying. I thought I was. <laughs> I really thought that I was flexible. I really thought, no, you know, dude. just okay. But um, no. Nah. <laughs> but you know what? But I like I like the motive because I and like I said in the beginning too. When I work out, I want to be called fucking Porky. You know, like you got my you fat slob and like I like that. You know what I mean? What the but I also fuck? like being. I do. But yeah, some people do don't that. be shy. But like I said, I ain't no bitch either. You know what I mean? I'm not that so, yeah. Yeah. No, I, you I, might I don't punch the wall, or punch the floor, or the barbell. Like, fuck. Yeah. You well, do I do. That. I do you do, do that. that. But, yeah, but you know. But you know why I do that? Because I get mad at myself. That's good. I get mad at myself because it's like I. Sh I could have done that. Like I should have done that. And yesterday, right? I think you. You got me. You made me do three rounds instead of five. No, well, I was mad. I. I don't ever get. And let me tell you guys, I don't get mad at you guys. I get mad at myself. Training. Yeah, it was the um. What is that? The rower. We row. We row. Okay, so he he had me do three instead of five, correct? Or was it two instead of five? So we were, okay, we we're doing a. It was straight body weight. Yes. So we rowed a lot. We did pull ups. So you hate to do pull ups. <laughs> we did well, ball slams. Yeah. Not yeah. That bad. 
and then squats. And then, so, I mean, you were doing good at first. Yeah. And then we get into it, and then... <laughs> I don't know. You guys, it's it's me. It, it, it's not. But Decline, let me tell you. But let me. T- but let me tell you. I don't get mad at you guys. I get mad at because I know I can do it. And for whatever yeah. reason, my body's like give up. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking give up. I want to finish this. You know yeah. what I mean? And at the end, right? I did that one more rower. So just because. So like, I was almost at the point to cut him off, but no, he don't ever up. do that. Don't no, ever do he that. Yeah. Stepped up. Please don't. He pushed it. I mean, and he finished everything we had to give. Yeah. <laughs> And like I said, it's difficult. It's fucking and hard. No, but at the beginning, yeah, there's no way that person would have done what we did. Dude, nah. on Friday, that, no, Thursday. Thursday, Alexis. And shout out to Alexis and Jonathan. They come every day, too. Every 5.30, they're there. I mean, they're yeah. on a the go. And they're on a the mission. But on Thursday, and Dominic programmed this workout. On Thursday, I was like, man, Isaac, am I getting fitter or am I getting, like, it's not working? I'm like, why? What do you mean? <laughs> It's because the first round, it was really easy. The first round was like, this is it? And then when they got down to the fifth round, they passed out. Oh, <laughs> they wow. came down and they were like, what the hell hit me? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They were like, is this workout, am I, all this work, hard work, you know what I'm saying? Is it working? And I'm yeah. just like, yeah, it's working. If you're coming down and saying, the yeah. first round was no. easy, but then the fifth round comes down, you're like. So yeah. what we do we don't, like you said, you, you told me the other day, we don't do the same thing every day. No, no. Yeah. not at all. No. We want to keep it exciting. We want to keep people coming back. We don't want to keep, we, we want to break the monotony. Right. Yeah. We want to, we want you to want to work out. Right. Like when you show up, it's going to be something new. It's going to be something that tests you. It's yeah. not going to be something that, oh, I did this yesterday. I can do it today. Right, right. No, it's going to be something that pushes you. Right. And I, and I, again, I have to say once more time, I'm mean, asking one more time. None of it's easy. I get, yeah. uh, you know, I, I slam shit. I'm like, come on, you can do and, it. You know what I mean? And I think but, that's what keeps people coming back. Yeah, yeah. that's what keeps me that, coming back. Like, I want to so, be that good. You know? But again, I want to climb a wall like that. It's, and it's not something <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Like uh, no. every single thing that we program yeah. is yeah. something that I will do. Yeah, we like, haven't done no lame ass jumping jacks. That's for sure. <laughs> 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 Remember when you guys had to try me jump rope? <laughs> No, I wasn't there. Yes, you were. You were the one who tried to make me do it. I couldn't. Oh it. yeah, I just said just jump over. He's like, <laughs> jumped in. Just he was like just jumping. Just he said like, jumping over. Like, I was, I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my god. It was because there was an imam, and he was supposed to finish it in a minute. He was taking forever. I was like, man, just. Don't jump up away. Just jump over this line across just five. Act like, like you're jumping. Yeah, just jump. Just do calf raises. Yeah, because let me tell you something. Because uh, Humberto was there and, and Eric were there that day. And they, they were. It was that workout we had to do everything in one minute, and then we had what one minute yeah. to rest. One minute, and they were fighting for their fucking lives in there. You know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. they, and I was watching them, and I was like, God, see, I want to be like that though. Yeah. Like that's what I want to do. So yeah. that's my goal there is to be as good as those guys, so we can all keep up. You don't have to modify things for me anymore. I don't want to be told, you know, throw the jump rope to the side. I want yeah. to fucking jump rope. You know, I used to jump rope in Central Ice Club. I could jump rope. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man, um, it's never you guys. I've I've gotten frustrated there, but I get frustrated at myself because I know I could pick that bar up. Yeah. I know that I can, you know, finish that row, whatever. Like I just mm. I for whatever reason I'm no, I don't work no. It's I got it. So ah, that's yeah, that's yeah. what I gotta tell everybody. Everybody, you just you gotta. It's dedication. You show gotta me, get your shit show together. Show them the gloves. That's yeah, show them the gloves. We, are. we get calluses, <laughs> motherfucker. I, you know what? Is. I bought these gloves because when I was lifting that bar, it was it was hurting, and the, nah, yeah, nah. It, it was hurting. So I was like, okay, make gloves. I still have fucking calluses. I do. I still Dude, have calluses. Gloves. Yeah. No, but man. they're cute. So I like to I like to wear hey, them. Man, yeah. Be honest though. I want to shout out to all the people from from where I started to mm-hmm. now. Whoever I worked out with, like. Everybody that worked out was shout out to them because you know what I'm saying? They yeah. pushed me and I pushed them and they taught me and I taught them. Right. Just shout out to everybody because that's where I am. Knowledge, experience, yeah. certifications, everything because of them too. You know what right. I mean? It's just not because of us because just like how you have determination, I was around people that was determined too. Right. And just from 17 to 28, I have people in my life that really push me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could be a, a fat mother. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, could be yeah. big. You my, be wife, <laughs> my wife said one time, she was like, man, thank God you love working now. It's like, why? But tell why? me the first time. I was like, why? Because you eat so much, Isaac. 
you eat so much, you can't yeah. stop eating. I was like, he used to be fat. Oh, really? Okay. Well, no, listen, and my then, fat, then, I wasn't no, no, fat. No, 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 I wasn't no, no, fat. No, no. I was just, un, I was so I I shape. I got no, you. No, 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 no. So, the first time. My sister decided to date somebody. Okay. Isaac, Isaac first, Carrillo. For the first time. <laughs> Isaac. <That's laughs> and bring him to the house. Yeah. I looked at her and I was like, those kind of yeah, <laughs> dude, and you know how much I weigh? I was at one sixty five. Really? No. Yeah, I was at wow. one sixty five, but I was just body like body just fat. Chunk. Was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Were you chunky like Snorlax, like him? No, dude, I was. I was at one sixty five. Just didn't have no muscle. Was your peach smile showing? I just didn't have no muscle. Okay. I'm just saying, I was just blob. Yeah, at one sixty five. Like Snorlax. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm gonna take this for and I'm gonna work him. Out. Okay. And, and I was like, so I'm a. I'm gonna make some crazy shit up so that he'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did, motherfucker. Did. I was like, <laughs> shit, dude. I'm about to work. I'm about to do something crazy so that he can just go. Tell yeah. that nigga what time was it? <laughs> it it's like, it's like what? 10 30, 11 o'clock. <laughs> 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> hey, man. hey, man, you wanna run? You can come with me. Oh, wow. Yeah. So and you're he, just trying to scare him off. No, yes. Yeah, 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 okay, he was. Okay. And he my wife went with but me. But it didn't work. Yeah. Because he ended up. So he, every day. he died that day. Yeah. Literally, like, he died. Dude. Yeah, I got he you. He said. You dude, know, um, no, 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 dude. He your said. Your phone's been off a hundred times. That's not mine. It's Dominic's. No, it's Dominic's phone. I swear to God, it's not mine. <laughs> but listen, the first thing he goes and says, we're running three miles. Oof. First mile, running kind of fast. Second mile, just chill. Yeah. Third mile, we're going fast. Yeah. I was like, okay. In my head, I'm like, I never ran a mile in my life. What? How many laps is that? He said four. I was like, okay. So the first mile, I'm running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sticking right behind him, him and my wife. Because my wife's a soccer player. My wife, she's, man, my wife is really amazing. Soccer, yeah, she's and I bad, love yeah. her so much. Bro. She looks great, too. She is great. Yeah. And she was in front of me. She was right behind me. I was the last one. I ain't going to lie. So, and then we ran a mile. This n- Man, dude. We finished three miles. <laughs> we finished three miles. But look, the last mile, I was running without my hands. Oh, <laughs> so I'm running like this with no arms. I'm just running like this, just like with my hands on my side. I'm like, hey. no. So we finished all the workout. Yeah. Granted, I'm in like the fittest shape of my life, so yeah, we can go all night. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> After that, we go and do stairs. Oh God. <laughs> and that's back. That's back when H B wasn't there. Yeah. It yeah. was at my favorite staircase was oh, right my there. God. It was amazing. Next to I I believe, I believe. Yeah. <sighs> so. We, we go and do stairs. And uh-huh. like, so we finished the three miles, and he was like, let's go home. We're done, right? Yeah, yeah. let's go home. <laughs> a college pro. No. With a, oh, my uh, God. I, I, was, I, I was training to go and try out somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm not done yet. It's just a warm-up, nigga. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's how we talking to Sal. You know what I'm saying? Sal Waco, shout out. But dude, he said stairs after three miles. Yeah. I was running with no arms. He goes, I was like, let's go home. and Let's go. Ch-. We're oh, going to do stairs. Yeah. I was, oh, my God. I, I was trying it. to get him Look. to wait. Yeah. Look, watch. I was trying to get him to be gone. Yeah, yes. I feel you. I feel you. Never come back. <laughs> Never come back. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> well, I, I but it didn't work because he's still here. After yeah. that, now yeah. he like works out every day. Yeah, but look, say after the stairs, what happened? Well, okay, what happened after the stairs? Keep going, bro. I don't know. All right, so after the stairs, <laughs> I had to take like, a, you know what I'm saying? I didn't uh, want to take a break. Okay, okay. So I kept going. I got the biggest. Like I was dying, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dying. I couldn't do it. No more. I was done. I was uh, done. And then he was like, "All right, man, you did. Good. You stuck with us." We'll work out tomorrow, same time. <laughs> <laughs> and you were just like, no. Nah, my head always like, man, I hope we don't run. Yeah. Well, we go to the gym. Uh huh. We start lifting some heavy ass weight. Yeah. Yeah, your boy got him. Ooh. Yeah, he got the uh, endurance, but when the okay. strength part came in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It was all that punch, huh? Yeah, that, that strength. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that strength came in, pushed him, <laughs> but then we we started working out together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Me and Dominic were really getting closer and closer with working out, and we were yeah. going, we were consistent. Like we Definitely. Said. Like we said, consistency is key. Consistency was key. Yeah. And then one day. That's the only reason he stuck around. Yeah, because of Dominic. Because <laughs> he was able to work out. Yeah. Yeah. And I stuck. And I mean, I fought through yeah. that mother. 
Yeah. I fuck. Yeah, I feel you. I, feel I you. ran and ran and Look, I hate running. That's dude. the only reason we let him stick around. I can't wait till I'm able to run a whole mile and not get winded. No, nah, running is like the hardest part of our workout. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But, but the other day it didn't stop. Right? Remember? I, did. I didn't stop. I, but that did really I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like wheezing yeah. like a pig. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't do this shit, man. Nah, dude. Yeah. And so like we were working out for like two or three weeks. You know what I'm saying we were yeah. getting comfortable with each other. We were like, all right, we can cool. My yeah. wife was working with us too. And then one day he was like, oh. and take a shirt off. Oh wow! Take your what? Take a shirt off. I was like, what? What? What do you mean? And he's like, look like this. God <laughs> damn! His name had bricks. <laughs> Everywhere in me and I was like, oh, Bricks as an yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, like cause he's like, like he said pack. he was training like yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. And he had bricks and I was just like, man, dude. And he was like, take yours now. I was like, fuck. And he took just- <laughs> I, I had to, I had to go look at I had to go to the restroom and I had to go look myself in the mirror. I'm like, man, am I, I gonna do still this? Trying to get him out of the picture. Yeah. Oh my God. I was like, man, I took my shit off. I was like, fuck. Yeah. And then you went out there and did it. Yeah, I had, I had balls, but I didn't have the body. Let me tell you something. Don't ever ask me to take my shirt off at so <laughs> <laughs> there's only There's only one time I take my clothes off, and it's not when I'm working out. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. and so, like you said, that was your goal, and my goal was like to, to look like look him. Like him. Yeah. So but every day we work. That's work, good, work, yeah. Work, work, and, work. That, and that's the moral of what I wanted to give out here, yeah. was that it's hard work. It's not easy. It'll get easier yeah. somewhat. But uh, Never. that that should no right. Never. <laughs> that way you you were like welcome no, to it's just, it's just the, you just have to be dedicated. No, no, the no, fitter watch. you get, yeah. So the workouts, okay, you get better at the movements, right? You get comfortable, yeah. but the more comfortable you get with the movements, the the better your form gets, the better all that gets, the faster you can start going. Okay, so. It never gets easy. No. Because, because you're right. you start building. Look, you naturally, you want to go faster. Right. It, so if you want to get fit, you're, you're not going to just go through the motions. Yeah. You're going to come in, you're going to grind. So yeah. never. Oh, yeah. There's never going to be a day. So never expect it to get easy is what we're trying to say. Look, uh, so guys, we, we do have to wrap up here. It's been an exciting episode, to say the least. Uh, it sounds like we have more to talk about, so we might need a part two of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, part two. Um, oh, yeah, we need a part two. Um, before we wrap up, though, what's one last thing that you can let us know about Soka Soccer Academy that you really want the, uh, the audience to really grasp onto? So just try it. Yeah. Come out, see what we're about. I mean... What's going to hurt you? Yeah. We're not trying to start a club. We're not trying to do anything extra. No. Right. We're here just to help you. I got you. So come out to SoCo. Yeah. We're we're here to help you in fitness. We're here to help you in soccer. Right. Everything. And I really want to thank you guys for my SoCo Soccer Academy trip. Uh, Maro Maldonado, actually. Well, him and his wife made them. Yes. Yeah. But Maro. thank you. I'm going to fit into this, okay? <laughs> so thank you so much That's for my SoCo Soccer Academy shirt. I really appreciate it. Um George, what's next for you? That I cannot discuss. Oh. <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, moving no, on. Just, <laughs> okay. So for us to stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Okay, yeah, stay sure. tuned. But you got some good things coming up. Yeah, good things All right, coming up bet. soon. So stay tuned. All right, we're excited. And how about for you, Isaac? What's next for you? Next is, man, um, just get this fitness going. That's my priority. Okay. Um, soccer's not my... Um, I never played soccer in my life. It's not your forte. Yeah, it's not my forte. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. But if they want me to play soccer, uh, I'm yeah. a goalie. That's okay, but no, <laughs> why don't you just get training sessions by Dominic? Yeah, just, just <laughs> because get every time it's free, it's already yeah. 9 o'clock at night, and I'm like, ew. And I just want to say real quick before we wrap up, because Dominic and everybody keeps saying how great his body looks. Prove it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Shut up. Show them what Soko Soccer Academy is all about. Uh, <laughs> no homo, no homo. Just yeah. <laughs> Thank nah, you. Guys. Why you gotta call me? This shirt is too tight. Yeah, well, you, you got, every break that we've taken, you said that you wanted to take your shirt off. What's up? Yeah. 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 They don't want to do it. If uh, I go, go, go get man. Oh. I can't take my shirt off on this camera. I'll break oh, everybody's okay, internet. Okay. So in two weeks. <laughs> in two weeks. You know what? Weeks. When we do part two of this episode, I'll <laughs> lift right, my shirt up for the camera. Because right, yeah. by that time, I'll look no, like you guys. We'll, we'll yeah. do this episode shirtless. 
Oh. Only if you guys do it. Okay. okay. Yeah, everybody has to be shirtless. And, and in a hot tub. Oh, I like that. Dominic. That's too much. Dominic, nah, Dominic. Hot tub sounds good, dude. <laughs> a big a hot tub, right? A little hot tub. Hot tub, hold on. Nah, dude. I'm dude. in. Nah, dude. <laughs> Look at you guys. Thank you so much for coming on to the public affair. It really means a lot to me. Nah, um, yeah, um, I, I, do, I do think we have a lot more to discuss, so we are going to schedule a part two for this. Yeah. You guys are going to come through. Hopefully, we can. by that time, we'll get to see what George is up to. Since we have yeah. to stay tuned, um, Dominic said he wants to take his shirt off. Isaac's gonna take his shirt off too, and we're gonna have it in a hot tub, darling. Watch <laughs> the promo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, we're gonna have worm. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see why they call him that. Okay, so. No, dude, no, bro. All right. just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, all, for tuning into the public affair. Thank you, um, the community, everybody who tunes in, shares, and likes, and subscribes to the public affair on YouTube. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Um, before we wrap up, I want to give a shout out to a couple more of our sponsors. Elite Barbershop on Hewitt Drive with Sid Rodriguez, Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes. Uh, Sid cuts my hair. That's why I look all cute, right? Uh, Marcus is bomb. Chris, great barbers over there, you guys. Um, call them on the number on the screen to book your hair appointment or download the Cut app and make sure you get all fresh for the weekend. And of course, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Soko Soccer Academy. Keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's keep talking, bro. What's wrong with you? Then we'll pay for this. Okay. Yes, we'll pay. <laughs> Let's talk about more fitness and more soccer. Like, it's, like, it's our passion, dude. Like We're for real, but that's how hard we're going to go. And about Andrew's yes. Pearl Cup. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Listen, nah, when we, but I want to save that all for part two. But no, gonna, because, because maybe yeah. me and Roman will be together by that time, and then we'll see what he's got going on, no. and you guys are going to take your shirts we off. Will. We're going to have another hot We will. <laughs> <laughs> we will set up everything for Roman, but like, uh, that's how inspiring we are. Yeah. Like, we want no. this, bro. Yes. We want soccer to grow in Waco, and we want this fitness thing for and the South Waco people because right. I know it's expensive out there. Definitely, but you know what? We're but cheap. We're not. <laughs> we're, not. we're really yes. cheap, man. We're cheap, and uh, we're throw awesome. a price out. Throw a price out. So you don't want to right now? We'll call it no, 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 no. We'll, we have to. We have yeah. to because. Okay. $155 a month yeah. at a, no. at a gym. Sock, I mean, what was it? CrossFit gym? What's it called? Yeah. So our gym. our small group trainings, uh -huh. it's $15 per session. Okay. Right now. Okay. So we limit it to a small group yeah. so that we're able to actually really focus on your yeah. right. kid. I mean, yeah, yeah. anyone that comes through, we want to give them their our full attention. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Not have twenty people and they're all running like with their heads, with their off. heads cut off. The same thing goes yes. with our fitness. You I know? got you. We we limit our classes with our fitness uh -huh. so that we're able to give you our full attention. Yeah. But we don't want to charge an arm and leg to right. get that done. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that want to get fit that want soccer training that are on the budget. Yeah. And I mean, we're able to cater to that. You guys Luck do have luckily. Yes. It's affordable price. I mean. Yes. Thankfully, we're able to do that right Dang now. God. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Well, um, I do want to give a, a shout out to Soko Soccer Academy um, with you and Ariana Gutierrez for sponsoring the public yes. affair. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys, they're located on Franklin Drive. They offer, like they said, they offer team, small group and individual skill training and occasional open play. Um, they also specialize in soccer training with professionals like George. Yes, George. That's the <laughs> yes. pro soccer. Okay. Indoor. Man, I went to go watch George play indoor. Yep. I was like, hell no. Yeah. I would die. He's a beast. No, he is a beast. He's a beast. Hey, and he yes. does connects too, guys. He does. So he'll, he have, a lot he'll of have you looking right. Yes. And um, we all, they also offer fitness training with Dominic and Isaac Carrillo. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, and more boy. so make sure you guys call the number on the screen for more details you guys I'm sorry that we do have to wrap up but I really I really hope that you guys will come back for another episode and we're gonna we'll give go the listeners what they like wanted once a month <laughs> this nah, will be a rotating episode nah, okay. <laughs> make sure you guys follow and subscribe to Public Affair on Instagram we're Facebook we're doing this for Andrew G's Results, guys. Okay. Remember that. Okay, if Andrew's so not changing, it's our fault. If he <laughs> does change, it, right? let's go. All right. Make yeah. sure you guys subscribe to The Public Affair on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Public Affair. And always, thank you guys so much for again for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And don't forget, darling, to keep it between us.